me say, let me say one thing that's really important, and one of the reasons I wanted to, to I wanted to dialogue with all of you. Uh, Mark Lazaro is my chief of staff. Is Andy here also? I wanted to introduce him. Um, and one of the things I want to do, you know, if any of you have been through the political process, it's, it's pretty disgusting and ugly. And, and it's, it's, it's actually it's actually worse than making sausage or or, or, or hot dogs. Okay, and. Um, one, and one of the things that happens is these bills are going to come up in committee, and as committee members, uh, the, 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 best, the, best, the best time to make any change at all uh, is going to be uh, in committee, not on the floor. On the floor, it's made down when the president has uh, you know, control over the floor in committee. Uh, and one of the uh, enjoyments that I've had of being in the Senate in 10 years is there's only 11 of us. And if I get a couple of allies, uh, we can change the bill. And that's one of the things that I want to look at and consider. So make sure that when you leave, and y'all are, are, are a pretty uh, you know, well-organized community, you have Mark's email address. You email him suggestions like, like, like you're talking about. Mark will uh, give me a, a, you know, a sheet in, in committee, and I'll be able to make some changes uh, that I think are important. Uh, and one other thing before I get to, uh, to other questions, I've had a meeting, uh, you know, uh, with, with the NRA, uh, they were in my office a couple weeks ago, uh, and one of the things I said to them, I said, you know, I said, I've been around the state for a while, and I see what's going on, and, you know, most of this is a fait accompli, uh, you know, in Maryland. This is going to happen. I said, what I would like you to do, and they said they're going to take this back to Virginia, is I'd like to make this as fair, uh, you know, to, to law-abiding citizens as possible. I said, show me the guns on the assault weapon bans that absolutely uh, are for civilian use, and I can justify for civilian use. I said, you know, it's stuff like you said, and that's what I need more than anything because, I, you know, I spoke to, uh, you know, one of the senators who's the sponsor of this assault weapons ban, and I said to him, you know, and he showed it to me the other day, and I said, well, you know, do you understand what this flash suppressor is? And he's like, no, you know, no, not really. I said, <laughs> I, said, I, I, said, I said, this has nothing to do with the, this is not a feature of a military style assault weapon ban. And he said to me, he said, well, I said, would you accept an amendment? And he looked at me and he said, maybe. So, one of the, and whatever you do, don't email Mark and put every single gun and every single feature there because that ain't going to work, okay? All right, Some, something's going to pass, okay? And, and, but what I want you to do is, is that idea of, about magazine capacity and, and, you know, and, and that idea about the weapons on there, you know, send him an email, put the weapon on there, put the justification on there, you know, I'm not going to go there and offer 13 amendments to try and get everything off, but I'm going to say, look, this, this, and this are what legitimate, you know, uh, law-abiding citizens use, and there's absolutely no purpose or, or no reason to take this off. And I have a swing vote on there that I think may be able to help me with some of these weapons if I can justify it. Uh, and no matter what any of you think about the Senate and the Maryland legislature, and we all have our opinions, and I certainly have mine, and you've read them over the years, um, you know, this is what we have to work with, uh, and I have found my committee... Uh, and my chair, and some of you may disagree with this, uh, fair and reasonable as far as listening to other ideas and many times in my, t in my tenures uh, incorporating my ideas to get